All right, I wanted to just do a quick review on the the tractor so far. I haven't put that many hours on it, but uh, I uh, do have some things already I know I do or don't like. So first thing with that third function, it'd be really nice if it was built into the handle. That's nothing to do with the machine. That's how uh, this was originally ordered. If uh, I keep this for a lot longer, it definitely is going to be something I need to look at to actually add the third function to the handle instead of running it off the rear SCVs because it is a pain and I'm not as efficient as I should be. Um, with the skid steer bucket, which or skid steer attachment, which is something I'd highly recommend. One thing you need to be aware of if you buy it from John Deere, maybe you can buy it from somebody else, but this rod here is not very strong. And these two handles, how they attach to the bucket, they will move independently of each other because that rod is not keeping them level. So one will lower more than the other. Um, and I've seen this on other videos, but I did not realize how bad it was. And so I'm looking at welding something in between there to keep them level because uh, that rod bends. And I did bend it just a little bit. I don't know. You can see right there. Yep. I hooked it on behind a stump. And I didn't realize I was hooked. And so I bent it and then I bent it back. And it's working fine, but sometimes it's a pain. I still recommend the skid steer stuff just because you can go on Craigslist or wherever and buy any part you need. Um... The four-wheel drive on this machine works phenomenally. Um, generally, I find when you're in four-wheel drive and you lock the differential, I don't know that it's meant to operate this way, but when you push down that little differential pedal in there, all four tires, in my experience, have spun. Um, so it's got a heck of a lot of push. One thing John Deere likes to sell you on is that their, their drive system, or the steering system, is behind the axle, which is true, but... It is well below the axle. Um, so I don't know about you, but as a person who does a lot of logging, that's an issue for me. Because um, I'd rather it hit that that axle or I know exactly how far my ground clearance is. But the problem is, is, hypothetically, I could run over something, not hit the axle, and then hit the steering cylinder. Granted, the rod, the tie rod is about the same as the steering cylinder. So I should hit the tie rod first. And the hydraulics are up, which is good to keep things away, but they're not very tidy. And so I might do something about that to bring them up. It's kind of the same thing here, that they hang low. Um, I wish they wouldn't. One thing I do like is that these hydraulic lines for the loader are on the inside of the loader, not the outside. Um, because now the loader arms protect from random things some other manufacturers you're seeing nowadays like to put a big mounting system out here which might work good for some but i think you uh you risk a lot when your hydraulics are outside of the loader arms but let me know in the comment section what you think um went with the skid steer style couplers again it's a great system um anything that skid steer is so easy to go find used parts for which is very convenient. And this guy was kind of a genius where these are run off the rear SCVs. It has the power beyond kit. And so you can run a low demand um, skid steer implement. You know, if you're doing light brush cutting or light snow blowing or I don't know. I'm not, I'm not an expert on skid steer implements, but uh, it's kind of a neat functionality how that works. Um, so he was definitely thinking ahead when he did that system. There's a reason he didn't do the true third SCV, or the, the third function up here. Um, so yeah, wheel weights and spacers, I cannot emphasize enough. Those are great. The power the loader has and the weight it has in the back, you really need good ballast. So um, the wheel spacers here aren't fancy. That's them. And then two sets of wheel weights. I can't remember what they weigh all together. I want to say it's like 65 per one of these plates. Each wheel has two of them. I'm not sure about that though, so don't quote me. Um, here's the two SCVs. Here's the the back end three point hitch control. Um, I use this quite a bit and it's very, very useful. I really like that. I hope all manufacturers go to a system like this. Um, one thing John Deere is unique on is the fuel tank is up here, not down here. Um, 
putting five gallon cans up there is a pain in the back end. It is not easy to do. Um, I do not like that system. I hope that changes in the future. Uh, moving on. And there's not much over here. Here's the battery box. I haven't had to get at it yet. I don't much care for where it is. And this door is almost useless because if you look here, look at the space between the loader and the, dr uh, the wheel. You cannot get through this door without moving the loader handle. And there's no step and they don't make a step. So it's pretty much for emergency use only. Um, Kind of a waste. I think they could have engineered something better. I don't like the battery down here. Maybe that's just a preference thing. It's hard to get at. Um, so how you get at the engine is kind of nice. You just go to the front here and doing this one-handed is something else. There we go. And that's how you get at the engine. Um, the battery on my smaller one was right there. It's not here now. I don't know if there's meant to be screens or filters in here. I know on my other John Deere there was. There isn't on this one. Maybe it's because of the AC unit or how this thing's built. Um, there's the rest of it. I know on some other manufacturers, they've uh, the whole system here comes up. So the, head, the headlights all come up so you can see the full engine compartment. I'm a little bit jealous of that system. Um, I think it'd be easier to do engine maintenance but um, this works good. I mean, most filters are exposed to some degree, um, so you can get at them. There's the oil. I think that's, I don't know exactly what that one is. It's a fuel filter, okay. So that's the oil and that's the fuel filter and the tranny filters back there. You can get at everything pretty quickly to add tranny fluid, to check your tranny fluid. Um, it's, it's set up pretty well. That's that. It's hard to find parts sometimes. I wanted to get a second step for down here. Um, I got a three-year-old that comes with me, and so it'd be nice if there was a two-step system. It's a little easier for him to get in. And someday I'll be an old man, and that'll be nice just for two steps. Handle works good. No nitpicky thing, how this thing attaches. This isn't a big gap here, and I'm not a big guy. I'm only about 180 pounds and six foot tall. Um, I hook on this thing all the time coming in because there's just not a lot of space here. This is a little custom buddy seat I made. Um, it works okay, but he's growing. That's why I might need a bigger machine. I might need to get a real buddy, real buddy seat, real buddy system. So let's talk about this. I really like this thing. This thing works good. So when you're doing a lot of precise loader work, you can move it. When I'm on the lawn, and you can see I have industrial tires and I drive everywhere on my lawn here, and I don't leave marks. You just be really gentle with it, and it works great. Um, cruise control I use all the time. Um, I always leave on the this function, which is the stop it from killing function. This is the auto throttle. I only use this when I'm doing loader work. I don't do it when I'm driving around. It's, uh, it speeds you up too much. SCVs work great third or the three-point lift works great has a huge range of motion you can almost put the back ones right on the ground um so that works great love it i actually really like the ergonomics of this handle um it's kind of funny a real small nitpicky thing but this little curve does you a lot of good so you can move very easily with two fingers and do what you need to do um it's really well designed. It's not that far out ahead of you. I do kind of wish it was back right about here. And that way you can leave your arm on the armrest. I know on some 5 Series ones, you can actually get it where it's part of the armrest. I know it's more fancy than the average average guy needs, but uh, I don't know. Maybe they can come up with a cost-effective solution to make it as part of the armrest. Because uh, for those of us who do a lot of loader work, um, lights work great. Throttle works great. Here's the four-wheel drive system. I know on some of the newer ones, there's a different way you engage the four-wheel drive. I do not much care for this system. It actually, putting it in four-wheel drive is easy, but taking it out, there's something going on where it catches and it's kind of hard to get out. Um, I've always managed to work through it and make it work for me, but uh, just something to be aware of. Um, air seats, phenomenal. Works great, no complaints. Probably one of the best in the industry. Um, there's the differential lock. What I do like 
or what I have liked on other manufacturers is this pedal will lock down. And so when you really want to get long-term pushing on this tractor, it does not lock. It's going to pop up as soon as you let up. I wish it was locking. It would do a lot of good. The tilt on the wheel works great, but the, the problem with how it's set up, I wish, again, some other manufacturers, you tilt with your foot. I wish it was that way. Because this one, you got to kind of reach forward, press it. Because when it's down, you cannot get out of this thing. I'm a skinny guy, and you can't do it. Um, something else to be aware of. So my bucket right now is right on the ground. Um, just because of how the engine compartment is made, when it's all the way down like this sitting on the ground, you cannot see your implement. You have to go um, kind of weasel your way around um, and see where you're at. Um, I know New Hollands have a higher or a greater slope on the engine compartment. That way you can see through there. I don't know that anyone's got that problem solved for tractors other than you push the loader way out in front of you. Um, I don't know. It's just something I want people to be aware of. I wasn't fully aware that I could not see out in front. Um, the loader, as far as strength, is very, very strong. I pull trees right out of the ground with this thing. I've moved tons of steel. I've got a, about a thousand pound grapple I use on it, and I pull big chunks of wet wood out. Um, so it works great. I did install this uh, aftermarket radio for Bluetooth. Because me and my son like to listen to our own music. I think all tractors should come with some kind of Bluetooth thing nowadays. Because that, that way, too, you can get calls. I don't miss calls. The uh, the brake system works great. If you're in a tight space and you need to turn quick, this thing is right next to skid steer turning radius when you use the brake system. It's It works great. And... And, and all these subcompacts, when you go a size bigger than this, the turning radius really magnifies. This thing turns quick. Um, this doesn't give you a good idea of how big the area I'm working in is, but I can just flip around everywhere and not even have to go in reverse. It, it works great. I've got no complaints. I think it's got like a 12 or 13 gallon tank on it, and it actually goes all the way through here and then down there. Um, so that's how they get their fuel space. And it's kind of funny. I think it's only 12, 13 gallons. Um, it should be more. I have to fill up this thing at least once a week. And I don't put a heck of a lot of hours on it. Um, they, they need to work on how their fuel system is. I think the other manufacturers got that worked out a little better. Reliability. Haven't had a single issue with it. Starts every time. Works great. Um, can really push. The, the one thing that I probably need to do to this thing is actually put uh, beet juice in the rear tires. I think I'd get a lot more tractor out of this if I did that. Um, it's definitely an investment item for the future. So yeah, that's uh, kind of my feedback. I like the machine a lot. It does a lot of good work for me, especially in the woods. It's just that perfect size where it can get just about anywhere. Um, I don't I don't have a tiller for it yet, but I am going to get a tiller, but I imagine this thing is going to do a great job with it. You know, in the power power range for its weight, it's got way more power than it has weight. And so you're not going to be disappointed there. And the nice thing is, is you can always make a tractor weigh more. Um, that's easy, but you can't add more power. All right. Well, that concludes my review. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know.